Whoa! Uh, God only knows it's on the other end. Maybe a uh, halibut? What do you guys say? Halibut? It's a halibut. It's gotta be a halibut, Go right? It. Oh, it's a massive cold fish! Holy shit! Woo! Nice! Woo yeah, baby! <laughs> How's it going, guys? Uh, you caught us on day two of a week-long fishing trip in uh, the island of Senja in northern Norway. It's hard to put into words, really, the, the scenery around us. I mean, uh, you can take pictures of it and you can talk about it, but it's unbelievably grand and unbelievably huge in scale. I mean, the mountain behind us goes from zero to 800 meters straight up. Uh, to get here, we had a crazy trip. Started in southern Sweden, where we live. Drove eight hours north to Stockholm. To Jumped on a bus for 22 hours straight to get up here. Crazy, crazy long trip. <laughs> Today we're going for cold fish, uh, first thing in the morning. And we're gonna do some speed jigging. So we're just gonna drop these jigs down to the bottom and then just wind up as fast as we can. Yeah, so we tried a new spot that we haven't tried before and all of a sudden we saw on the sonar loads of fish. So we just wind up as fast as we could and we hook into some cold fish we think. Like, yeah, we found uh, hundreds of cold fish at least, but a little bit too small. This, a lot of this size. Pretty fun fish, pull pretty hard. What do you want to do now, Nick? Catch some uh, halibut. Halibut, yeah. So now we're going to try for some cod and hopefully some halibut. And uh, I'm going to use a spinner tail here. So what I did was take a, a spinner blade from an instant spinner bait, put it on a shallow screw and then screw it in the tail here on the jig. It's supposed to be very effective for halibut especially. So I thought I had caught the bottom, but then the bottom started moving around <laughs> and pulling back. <laughs> so there's a, uh, I think we got a, we found a monster finally here. Oh, it feels like I'm hooked to a, a rock that's shaking around down there. I was sure I'd caught the bottom. Must be a halibut, right? <sighs> Must be, right? Huge cod. Or a big cod. Or a huge cod. Here comes something. What is it? It looks like... A halibut. A big, a little halibut. Not a big one. Well, man, even the... Even the smaller ones fight like mad. Feels good? Yeah, man. Awesome, awesome fight. What a great fish, what a beautiful fish. Yeah, so I got that last uh, halibut on this uh, Berkeley Power Herring. Really nice realistic color. Rigged up a stinger hook onto the back. Then we got this uh, beast uh, spinner blade uh, with a, a screw, screws into the body of the bait. Just gives it that little extra flash. Really good bait, we've had amazing success with these. Uh, we've been out sometimes and seeing other people in the boats around us not catching anything, but we're getting two, three at a time with these guys. So really recommend this uh, Berkeley Power Herring. Really good bait. All right, another fish on here. Yeah, probably a cod. We're hoping for a cod. Oh, looks like a nice cod. Oh, it's a nice cod. Nice color on this one also. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's a little bigger too. Yeah. Nice one. Beautiful. Great fish. So kind of 
power hair thing also. Hearing. Yeah. It's not so deep here, so yeah. you can let him go again. So the reel and rod that I've been using the most here in Norway is actually this Fathom Low Profile. It's just super light, super comfortable to fish with. Together with this Carnage rod, it's been perfect, even for even for halibut. So as long as as long as it's not too deep, this little reel is perfect. Another nice cod on the way up. Oh, that one's got a lot of red in it. Beautiful fish. Nice. Check that out. Beautiful color on that fish. And we'll just let her go back down. So the gear I've been using throughout this whole trip has been uh, primarily this Pen Slammer 4 5500 and this Pen Overseas XT uh, rod. This rod is actually a popping rod, an eight foot rod. Uh, but I actually like it on the boat. It's a little longer and gives me a little more leverage out when I'm uh, setting the hook. So uh, it's been it's been actually really good. Also, when you get a lot of people on the boat, if one of a, one guy has a little bit of a longer rod, you can get your line out a little farther than the other guys and avoid a lot of tangles that way. So that's been really good. Um, I have some other reels with me, but I just kept coming back to this slammer because it's got this nice big handle on it. It's a really comfortable uh, reel in the hand and uh, nice big spool. It's, it's really easy and quick to get a lot of line up quickly. And when you're out here jigging like that, that a lot of time that's what you're doing. You get a bite and the fish gets off. Well, you got to bring your line up, but you're bringing it up 50 meters at a time. And so that's a lot of cranking. But with this reel, you know, you can get your line up fairly quickly. Like I said, I just keep coming back to it. Great, great reel. Probably one of my favorite reels now. Nick, where are you heading? We're heading to the gold toilet. We need to use the bathroom all day long. And we heard that there's a golden toilet here in this valley. So we parked at the dock over there and we're gonna go check it out. <laughs> toilet itself was not gold, but uh, it did the trick. Was it good? Yeah, it was good. Was it the best toilet ever? Well, after being on fishing boat all day and having to use the bathroom all day, yeah, pretty much was. Whoa! We're dropping it down and bringing it back up really fast. All of a sudden, something smacked this thing. God only knows it's on the other end. Could be a really big cold fish. Maybe a halibut? What do you guys say? Halibut? It's a halibut. It's gotta be a halibut, go right? It. I mean, it dang near took the rod into the, yeah. into the water. <laughs> Woo! Hey, how's it going? <laughs> it's going good, I think we're I think we're still early in this fight. Ah. Go, 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 get the head up. What these fish will do a lot of times. Oh, it's a massive coal fish. Holy shit. Woo! Nice! Speed jigging for coal fish. Exciting, man. Drop it down, bring it up as fast as you can. This thing hit everybody on the boat. 100% certain you hooked into a huge halibut. It dropped it, it went straight down to the bottom. I had to loosen up my drag because this thing was just, this, the rod was just completely bent over. Nice, your first big one. Oh, God, what a feeling. All right, man, I tell you, really big fighting fish, super hard fighting fish. My God, how big do you think this one is? Probably 10, 12, 10, 12 kilos. Big. Oh, it feels bigger. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I guess that's it for this trip. Yeah. But uh, we had five fishing days, some really nice weather, 
some big fish, some small fish, a lot of fish. You caught your first everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I was just super weak. So big thanks to Camp Stainford, Catch Fiskeresor for, ha for having us. It's been awesome. It's been amazing. I remember thinking before we came here that, uh, that this was a once in a lifetime trip. But uh, you know, after coming here and seeing this place and how amazing it is and the, I mean, there's no words for it. And the pictures you see in the video, it's, it's a fraction of what it is when you're really here. It's unbelievably beautiful and grand. And uh, so I thought, oh, this is a once in a lifetime trip. <laughs> no, I'll be back. I'll be back for sure. And yeah, the camp has been absolutely amazing. Uh, the people here have gone way out of their way to make this amazing trip. Um, fishing has been super duper awesome. Um, just can't say enough about it. So thanks for watching. See you next time.